This is the Armor Tool Auto Jig Pocket Hole Jig. Armor Tool was kind enough to send this to me. I do have an affiliate link and a coupon code, and I'll have them in the description below. I think the best way to use this jig is to mount it like I have here with support wings on both sides of the jig. So let's do that first. The jig measures just about 12 inches deep or 12 inches long. So I'll rip this piece of plywood at 12 and a half, gives me a little bit more room. And the jig is also an inch and a half high, so I can use a standard two by four for support wings on either side. This is a piece of three quarter inch plywood and I'll rip it at 12 and a half inches. Over at the miter saw, I'll cross cut it at 36. Just to make it look a little nicer, I'll set up a stop block and cut a small 45 at each corner. This step really isn't necessary, but I don't like the way roundovers look on 2x4s, so I'll remove them by ripping a heavy quarter of an inch off of each side, and then I'll cut them to length at 15 and a half inches. If you're going to mount the jig like I am, you'll want to remove the driver beforehand. To mount the jig, I'm centering it in between the support arms, and I'll use three of the Armor Tool inch long screws. You'll notice that the screw holes are reinforced, and that will prevent the plastic from bending or breaking when you drive the screws. With the jig attached to the board and the support wings in place, you could attach this to any workbench with one or two clamps. If you happen to have the Armor Tool workbench, you can use the clamp down dogs. This is relatively new to the shop, but quickly becoming part of my workflow. And now with the jig in place and the support wings attached, we'll go ahead and drill a few holes and take a closer look at the jig. This is the dust port and this flips around so you can use it on either side of the jig. I actually can't use it yet because my vacuum doesn't fit it, but my son Walter is going to print me a fitting on the 3D printer. To set the depth of the pocket hole, you'll hold the back of the drill bit here, otherwise it kind of falls out. It would have been nice if this snapped into place, but anyway, if you pull it forward, you're drilling a shallow hole. If you push it back, you're working with thicker material and you're drilling a deeper hole. To set the depth, you'll put the material that you're using. This happens to be three quarter inch material. I'll pull the jig forward, lock it in place, and then use the wrench that's attached to the side of the jig to tighten the stop. This is the screw length diagram, very straightforward and easy to understand. For half inch and five eighths material, you would use the green screw. For three quarter material, use the yellow screw. For seven eighths, one inch and one and an eighth, use the red screw. For inch and a quarter and inch and three eighths, use the blue screw. And for inch and a half, like a two by four, use the orange screw. I have the stop set for three quarter inch material. I'll put the board in the jig, pull it tight, engage the clamp, and drill the pocket holes. That was a three quarter by three and a half inch board. But let's say we want to use two pocket holes in a more narrow board. This is two inches wide. We can remove this piece. I already loosened that up. Drop it back in. You can see the holes are closer together. Tighten that up. We'll put the board back in the jig. We would center it, clamp it down, and drill the pocket holes again.
The Armor Tool screws are just like any pocket hole screws. They have kind of a washer at the head. This is a coarse threaded screw meant to be used in softwoods. The fine threaded screw is meant to be used in hardwoods. The one inch screw has a different head, but that's only for the one inch screw. Okay, well that's a quick look at how to set up the Armor Tool Auto Jig. Very easy to use, and I like pocket hole joinery. I've been using pocket hole joinery for maybe 30, maybe even longer than 30 years. My first jig was a pneumatic Craig jig. Works great, I still use it. It doesn't have dust collection, and you're not going to get as clean as a hole, and it's not going to drill as efficiently if you don't have dust collection. That being said, my son did print me out a fitting for the armor tool jig here. I do think that you can make really nice furniture with pocket hole joinery. I've got a few examples on my channel. The cherry entrance table is made completely with pocket hole joinery. Most recently I made the cherry game table kind of end table. They're matching pieces. And I'll have links to both of those projects down in the description below and they have project videos right here on YouTube. For that project I used the K5 Craig jig and that worked great. I think both jigs work really good. I think that this one might be a little bit more intuitive and I just like all the things that you can get with the armor tool system. This workbench is definitely going to come handy and you're going to see more of it in the shop. So that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.